you will be surprised to know that we have got so much of consciousness to our body not only the brain to wide variety of organs of our body wants to know how let's go to the video Hello students, my name is Sanjay and you are watching my online biology classes that is biology with Sanjay RG. As you know that we have started a chapter called as the living world and we are at the end of the concept called as what is living or to study the fundamental characteristics of the living. Today we will be studying about a topic called as consciousness. So, consciousness is one of the most obvious and one of the technically difficult topic to understand. Consciousness in a simple terms can be said as it is an ability to sense the surroundings. That sense may be in the form of stimulus. It is nothing but the understanding of the stimulus of different kinds and responding to that particular stimulus. Stimulus is nothing but an action which is entering to your body and understanding that particular action and giving a response, a processed response from your principle that is the brain. Stimulus can be any kind of an action. Let us take an example. Consider a glass filled with water and that to a cold water. When we touch it, there is a stimulus. When we touch it, there is an action. So with the different neurons present from that particular point of your body to enter into the brain, it processes. The brain understands that particular action and gives a signal or a reaction in response to that. We can say that this is cold in nature. This particular stimulus may be physical, chemical or biological. We sense our environment with different sense organs which are present in our body itself. We have got the skin, eyes, nose, tongue and the ears. Skin is for the touch, eyes is for the vision, nose is for the smell, tongue is for the taste and the ears are for the sound or the voice. See, we have got all these different sense organs in our body itself. We can respond to a lot of different stimulus around us. Now the question is, sir, which and all organisms can have this kind of particular topic called as consciousness as a basic fundamental property? I can tell you students that it might be an unicellular organism or a multicellular organism with respect to their different abilities of their body organizations, they have got consciousness. They respond to the external stimuli. Plants also respond to external conditions or external stimulus if those stimuluses are light, temperature, water, other organisms, pollutants, etc, etc. There is a topic called as photo period. What is the meaning of this? It is nothing but the duration of light intensity falling onto the surface of earth and depending upon this period or duration of light intensity, the plants absorb the temperature and do their photosynthesis. So it can affect a variety of plants and even the plants correctly respond to that photo period. In case of animals, they also respond very neatly with respect to variety of chemicals entering into their body. It may be with respect to respiration or it may be with respect to digestion, it may be with respect to sense understanding, it may be with respect to neural controls and coordinations, a lot of things are there. Our body can do wonderfully in case of giving responses and this is nothing but consciousness. So. What am I trying to say here? I want to tell you that each and every organism on this earth is aware of its surrounding. Out of all the organisms, humans are the only organisms who have got self-consciousness. That is awareness of 
himself or herself i repeat it again out of all the organisms of this universe of this biosphere human beings are the only organisms who can sense their surroundings and who can sense of their own content that is called as self awareness or self consciousness we can say that since consciousness is present in all the organisms and plays a wonderful role in understanding our surrounding and giving response to it is called as the fundamental property of the living organisms i repeat consciousness is called as the fundamental property of all the living organisms but we have got a twist here consider some patients in the hospital they are in the stage called as coma they do not understand any stimulus you can touch them you can beat them you can slap them they won't understand anything at all because their sensory organs or their stimulus capacity having neurons are completely brain dead are completely useless or inactive so during this stage we can call them that they are living but we cannot say that they have got self consciousness out of all the explanations of consciousness i can tell you that consciousness is a fundamental characteristics of living organisms and it can even be called as the defining characteristic of living organisms but as in case of self consciousness by taking an example of a patient who is in a coma who doesn't have that capacity to respond to the stimulus is not at all called as the defining property of living organisms i mentioned two words here self consciousness and consciousness consciousness is a fundamental and a defining property of the organisms self consciousness is not so let me enter into the last stage of this explanation of the fundamental characteristics of living organisms that is i have explained about the first fundamental character that is growth and it is not at all the defining character though it is a fundamental character second point is about the reproduction reproduction is also the fundamental character but not a defining character third point that is metabolism is a defining character and along with that a fundamental character coming to the last point and that is consciousness is the defining character and a fundamental character but self consciousness is not at all called as the defining character of the organism now in the end let me define what is living or what are living organisms okay so we can call the living organisms as the self replicating evolving and self regulating interactive systems capable of responding to the external stimuli the one which expresses these distinctive characters are called as living thank you students this is about consciousness i hope you understood this small topic i'll be meeting you in a next video that is a promise until that time like share and subscribe to my channel once again in the end all the best god bless you all thank you